Hey guys, what's going on? Before we get started with this video, I just want to um, apologize for that last video. Um, to be fair, it did go in the shit posts playlist, but I guess it, I did put it up on the internet for everyone to see. I personally thought it was um, kind of funny, but uh, that's just me. I have a weird sense of humor sometimes. To explain, I just thought it was kind of ironic because it said this page is intentionally left blank, but it wasn't blank anymore because of that text. And so they did the same thing with the... I don't know. Either a lot of people didn't get it. It's quite a lot of dislikes there, and I understand that it is a shit post, and I I was prepared for that, but just in case, wanted to get that out there. So anyway, in this video, we're going to be going over Marudan, one of the new natural four stars. As usual, starting out with the fire one, we have a 80% two-turn taunt here, and allies HP, and an amount equal to 10% of own max HP. So right off the bat, a very good taunter, actually. A two-turn, 80% chance is very, very good. Um, very high taunt chance, and for two turns, that's what really makes it special in my opinion. Um, he is a natural four star and a tank, so he should have that survivability potential. 35k HP, a little bit low on the defensive side for someone who's supposed to be, like, taking a lot of the hits. Um, but, you know, you can get his defense up. I would go HP, HP defense with his gym set. But for what he's supposed to be, a tank, taking the pressure off of your weaker, fragile Astromons, he does a pretty good job in my opinion, and then with his active he can uh, sort of act as a sort of sub healer, sort of, sort of, sort of, you know what I'm saying? I'm typically not really one for tanks and uh, taunters, um, but I can definitely see that he does excel in this department, so if you do like tanks more, um, this is a very good one actually in my opinion, uh, because the taunt skill is very good for getting the pressure off and uh, the sub healing can be up to 40% depending on how many enemies you're facing. So in my opinion, he, a very, very solid tank. Going to be taking a look at his variant. Whoa, he goes very, very pink. I think even more pink than a lot of the other ones go. Well, he also goes very, very pink. How about him? How does he go? Also very pink. Well, he goes really pink because he's already kind of pink-ish. Well, red. But then, like, yeah, there's a lot of pink there as well. All around solid for what he is. Personally, I probably wouldn't raise him because, like I said, I don't really like tanks too much. But we're going to be moving on to the water one now. And this one, ooh, lots of damage. Uh, two hunters at 50%. There's actually not too much to say there. Hopefully he's an attacker, which he is. That makes sense. Looking at his six-star stats, we got, uh, ooh, quite low HP. He makes up for it in recovery. So that's good. Defense, who? He is very, very fragile. Super fragile. Low HP, low defense. I'm on Evo 3 6 star, right? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, he does have quite a bit of attack, but unfortunately, recovery is like the second highest stat here. If I'm not mistaken, there's at least one other water type that has Hunter as both skills, so if you can get access to that, I'm not sure which one, and I'm not really prepared to go through all of them to check, or if there even is one. Depending on the stat difference, I may rather go for that one instead. Uh, still could definitely be a solid water Astromon. Doesn't really bring any utility to the table. Can at least do a lot of damage, and would probably be good for the Fire Titan at the very least, and per for pretty much anywhere you want to get through the runs faster because he will be doing a lot of damage plus having the ability to have the elemental advantage unlike light or darks. Of course you would need to give him a crit rate gem unless you can get it from subsets and the intuition set but that's I, I don't even mention that because there are so few people at that tier of gameplay at the moment that I don't really bother to mention it. So yeah the crit rate gem and an attack gem those two should be pretty much guaranteed and then the last one I don't know I would probably give him HP it does just it makes him more survivable. I don't know. I mean you could go full glass I'm thinking you might as well go full glass because of how weak his uh, Survivability stats are anyway, so I'm thinking maybe just full glass it so crit rate attack attack on the uh, Intuition set if you can't get the crit rate rune if you can and just have him as like a just like a boom like a sort of a almost like a kamikaze in a sense that's one way to build him and that'd probably be more fun to be honest because his attack set is quite high um but yeah that that's just a thought checking out his variant form now let's see how this dude goes okay not too much different more icy than water i think yeah this one's more water and this one's more ice that's for sure that you know that's pretty cool that's Pretty cool. Taking a look at the wood one now, looks like we got defense break and adrenaline. Ooh, whoa. Seriously? We got another water Persephone over here. They're starting to really put a lot of these in there now, these uh, sub healers. And this one, 10%. He is a defender, which is good for this type of uh, Astromon. 30k base HP isn't bad. 
uh, definitely not bad, especially when you consider it's 10% of allies HP and not just five like Dark Jack or Dark Jelly or some of those other passive healers. And, and this is a natural four star, so it should be easier to get than something like a Water Persephone or Dark Jack because she was an event Astromon and uh, she's no longer available. So already very good. The defense down isn't very strong, but the adrenaline still makes up for it if you're lacking a passive healer. But in this day and age, you're probably not because there have been so many, but you know, even so, depending on how easy he is to get, I, I don't know, I, I haven't checked if he's maybe like the legendary. Uh, I can imagine one of those new four stars are, but it might be the other one. Yeah, he's the legendary of the new areas, so a little bit harder to get maybe, but also farmable at the same time, in a sense, sort of. And you do get the wood one on hard, so it might be accessible to more people. Uh, that's another thing we're gonna be doing by the way going on hard glacial plans I'm saving that for a future video, but yeah as with all passive healers like this. I would have to recommend full HP. Oh My god Okay, well this is embarrassing after talking about that so much I just now realized it's 10% of allies HP, but it doesn't have to do with his own HP. So um, That's not as good of a passive healing skill unless you're bringing like a full tank team with you in that case it's okay but um yeah it's kind of a shame honestly but what can you do about it so already he's definitely not as good as as i first thought this can still be useful like i said in a full tank team like with dark horns and um i don't know water shuras etc already definitely less interesting and the defense down now kind of takes away from it because this isn't as good as i thought it was i would go probably just hp hp defense on him then because his hp doesn't really matter and to give him the most survivability possible that's typically the gym set you want well whatever we're gonna be checking out his variant um, this one kind of goes also kind of icy, which is weird for a wood type. His wood type definitely looks very wood, like earth, but, uh, yeah, that goes very water, ice, weird. Well, that's pretty disappointing. Oh well, what can we do about it? We're gonna be moving on now to the light, if there is light. Taking a look at his skills first, we have, ooh, 80% two turn attack down, already liking this, and 80% two turn blind, which is, uh, blind is... A bit better now since it got changed or since it got buffed actually um, and attack down is always useful high chance two turns very very good skills wise very good probably more for titan i can imagine because attack down is the most useful there in my opinion and blind also especially on the uh dark titan and the light titan now because i think light titan got like 100 percent crit dam uh, crit rate or something and since he has a light type he would have not really an advantage but he would do more damage and also get to get that attack break off on the dark but then again he's not really an attacker and he's not gonna be doing much damage so i would probably more bring him on the light titan so he won't at least take more damage uh but yeah there's not too much to say about these skills uh attack down is very universally useful in harder content it can really really help you survive he's a balance taking a look at his max stats here a lot of hp so that's like tank hp uh, uh and then kind of this definitely looks more like a tank because his attack, defense, and recovery are all a little bit lower than average, and his HP is a lot higher. Doesn't really look balanced, looks more like a tank, but that's fine. I would go HP, HP, defense again. He doesn't need crits, thankfully, and you want to get him the most survivable so he can get off those debuffs more often, and he's not really meant to deal damage anyway. Set-wise, I'd either go resist if you can't get some good resist subsets, or just more HP or more defense, or a broken set if you, uh, if you don't have very many good gyms lying around. But uh, yeah, so taking a look at the dark one now, let's check him out. Kaboom, he has this new vengeance skill again. I still haven't checked that out. I know I should. I don't think I even have any astromons that have vengeance. Okay, but he has adrenaline, 20% of own HP, and then increases attack. Imp so what is he? Another dark attacker. Well, I always like dark attackers regardless of their skills, so I have to uh, give that point to him already. Just straight off the bat, dark attackers are like awesome because they will always deal tons of damage regardless of their skills. And uh, this guy has a bit of self sustain in there as well. And like I was saying with lat, with I think dark lat it was, um, adrenaline is a little bit bad because, you know, they're dark attackers, they're gonna have not too much HP and, like, not much defense, so that 20% isn't gonna help them that much, whereas HP Siphon would definitely help them out way more, so I'd definitely much rather see that. Regardless, again, depending on how strong Vengeance is, uh, it could be very good. I would build them the, the same way I build most dark attackers, uh, crit rate, attack, HP. He actually does have quite a lot of HP looking at his max stats here, 30k is very high for an attacker. Um, 
good attack stat, of course, low defense and yeah, recovery, but whatever. So yeah, crit rate, attack, HP on the intuition set if you cannot get the crit rate from substats on the ruin set if you can. Taking a look at his variant and then we're going to go back to the light one and take a look at that variant because we forgot about that. What the hell? Jesus Christ. Pink? So this is like your general dark sort of color scheme and this is like really freaking weird. If that yellow wasn't there and this red was a different shade of red, maybe a darker red, it would probably look pretty cool but he just looks completely ridiculous as a variant so please don't. If I pull one ever, please don't be a variant. Also gotta take a look at light variants now. This little gym here or whatever that's supposed to be kind of on both the dark and light kind of, I don't know, doesn't go too well. It's kind of, kind of standout-ish, but maybe that's the point. Other than that, yeah, pretty cool. You know, goes like how most other, wow. Does anyone actually care about the variants? I don't, I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the Marudons. I'm gonna give my final thoughts on each of them now. Fire is good at its job, being a tank and taking the hits away from your more fragile Astromons. Water doesn't have very good stats, but it still can do a ton of damage. But regardless of how you build it, it's gonna be pretty fragile. So I would probably just go complete glass on it and go crit rate, attack, attack on the uh, Ruin or Intuition set and just have fun with him until he died. What isn't as good as I first thought, but uh, still okay for a full tank team. The weak defense down chance is kind of a turnoff, and the adrenaline, like I said, isn't as good as I thought, but like I said, still okay for a tank team if you run a lot of tanks. Light is very good as a general debuffer, and especially in Titans, either light or dark Titan, preferably light. Him using dragons, golems, even story mode, so, so very good. And dark is a dark attacker. There's not much more to say about dark. He heals himself, and he does this weird vengeance stuff, so basically if there's a dark attacker in the mix I'm always going to favor that because that's like the highest damage potential there. There is one other thing and that's his leader skill I'm mostly forgetting about that which is completely useless. Recovery? Who, ne who needs recovery? Okay so don't need to talk about that anymore. All around most of them are actually pretty good. They're all solid I think in my opinion and they can all be quite useful for their intended purposes. Um, so yeah, they're all pretty good, actually. Tell me what you guys think about them in the comments down below. Also, leaving a like would be greatly appreciated. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.